Now we will finally start routing our PCB. So here we have our placed components and um, the first thing we have to decide uh, the layer which we will use. And uh, here we have an option of bottom or top layer. I will choose top layer because um, all the components are easily routed, the connections do not overlap and um, it's very simple PCB anyway. Um, routing has to be done by a routing tool and not by placing lines. You can place lines on top layer and they will be actually made of copper finally, but they will not be treated as connections in Altium because the Altium has already these uh, connections indicators here which pads are connected together and you can easily select by control clicking on any of these pads which are connected together. Now shift C would be the delete option of that um, highlight. Shift C deletes the highlight. Now the routing is done by this routing interactive routing tool so I can start routing let's say the ground. Okay, so the first question is how do we select the width of this line? We can click tab and then by clicking tab we can select other width, let's say 0.5 millimeters. However, it was not selected, it was not changed because we did not set the rules yet. I will show how to set the rules later. Now we will just route, we don't care about the width, just we want to connect everything to check whether the connection is possible even. So I can come to here, click and that's it, it is finished. I can continue. If I move this line around, you will see, well, it just makes short circuits. Well, that's strange, isn't it? Well, clicking tab again, I can go to options and select other routing mode. Here it was accidentally selected, ignore obstacles. I can go walk around obstacles. Pause, now you will see that it will walk around the obstacles. Cool, all these routing modes can be uh, changed by clicking shift R. The shift R changes the mode, different types of mode. One of them is also ignore obstacles as you can see. So I will go back to the uh, walk around obstacles and finish. The next shortcut you should know is how to make the corners. Coming to here you have 45 degree corner press, pressing space you will select um, different corner angles or the angles will shift from left to right. The next thing is shift space. You can select a rounded corner, then 90 degree corner, then rounded corner again of different kind, then any angle actually, then 45 degrees. I prefer 45 degree corner. Okay, I finished here. The next thing is very useful tool finishing routing. I start here and I know exactly where to go, it will go straight up. So to follow the line that is indicating the connection, I can hold control and click with the mouse and it will finish immediately. Uh, furthermore, I can even, even before starting the routing, I can hold control and click on the pad and it will actually finish by itself. See? Quite easy and very straightforward. And the PCB is routed. Oh no, still one is missing here. And now it is finished. Well, of course, I'm not satisfied with some of the connections. I might repeat them. I will start here, go there and finish here. And the rest will be deleted. So this, is fun this, the, this function is called automatically remove loops. I will finish here. Oh. But the loop is not removed as I was anticipating. Yeah. Okay, I will maybe start there, go around, finish here. Okay, continue. Maybe if I made an error, I can go back by clicking backspace. Okay, I'm back. Starting again, finishing here. Now the ground loop was not removed as you might seen. Why not? I don't know. It's a bug of Altium, I suppose. But I can delete it separately, clicking on it and clicking tab. Now if I select one piece of line and click tab, everything on that layer will be selected. 
everything connected together. If I click tab again, also the pads will be selected. If I click tab again, only this piece will be selected. So let me delete everything on the ground and I will start again. Routing, not happy, do it again, not happy, do it again, happy, continuing, maybe control click will help, control, control, and finish. And um, that's pretty much it regarding the routing. We did not do any rules, we did not do any um, width changes, uh, we didn't care about the way how we connected it, we even didn't care about the looks of it. But our goal was to finish the basic routing and it was managed very quickly because we placed the component really neatly and um, the schematics, to be frank, it's very simple. 